Chikungunya is a virus that's transmitted uh, to man by a mosquito of the Aedes family. This mosquito is a day-biting mosquito, so it's very important for those of you who know about traveling with malaria and West Nile virus locally that this is not something you worry about at dawn or dusk. The virus causes an acute febrile illness. So you typically three to seven days after a mosquito bite, you'll get acute onset of fever. And uh, one of the hallmarks of chikungunya is that it causes uh, polyarthritis arthralgia, which means pain in the joints. Um, sometimes there's actually swelling of the joints, and the joints that are most typically affected are in the hands and feet, although it could be anywhere. We have recently had uh, reports of cases of chikungunya in Boston, uh, which shouldn't cause a huge amount of alarm that we're going to have it here. Uh, but people are coming back from areas uh, for which chikungunya is now endemic. The virus used to be uh, locally transmitted in Asia and Africa, but at the end of last year, it suddenly appeared in the Caribbean. People get infected in the Caribbean in places like St. Martin, Puerto Rico, Guadalupe, and then they don't get sick until they came back from their vacation, if they're lucky. It is important to try to either wear long sleeves, long pants, or to apply insect repellent that contains something like DEED or picaridin um, during the daytime when you're traveling to areas that are endemic for chikungunya. In theory, there could be local transmission, but the temperatures also affect the ability of the virus to infect mosquitoes and transmit. So it's probably not very likely that in a place like Massachusetts that we'll see it get established. However, Texas, Florida, that area is definitely at risk. And a related mosquito, uh, an, another mosquito-borne virus called dengue has already established itself in those areas. So chikungunya is a threat to the United States.